Wednesday night baseball coming your way from Progressive Field in Cleveland. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. And look there at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen. Leading off for Boston, center fielder. And here's oh, a ball, ball hit in the air. Chisenhall has whoa, whoa, a beat whoa. on it. Mine, mine, mine. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, we'll see if Odubel Herrera can get it going. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. Harold, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though. The win today gets you shooting towards maybe a nice little winning streak. That's why this game is important to me. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch Starting him dominate third. a guy on three Left pitches fielder. and send Andrew. him packing Andrew. without much problem. Andrew Benintendi swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Hey now, we've got two. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ends up being. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Red Sox nothing. Tribe coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Standing in, Oswaldo Arcia. As we run you the numbers the to right see the splits number between July and August. Oswaldo Arcia. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That ball's right down the middle, and this guy's hitting in the middle of your order, and he wasn't able to hit it. That's how nasty his slider is. Here it is. You still can't hit it. All right, here's how the Indians line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Will Myers playing first base. Yes, first Batting base. Fast. Now, I know he came up as an outfielder, baseman. but, man, has he become a pretty here. good defender at first base. I love his actions. I love how he moves, and he's pretty graceful over there. And two quick outs here in the second. Digging in the switch Batting hitter, sack. Kenny's Vargas. He's not among the league Kenny's leaders in home Vargas. runs, but his total does. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Coming in for his first at bat, Andrelton Simmons. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Now another 0 2. Swing and a little blooper to center. Wong ranging into the outfield. Makes the play one away. And with that, we give you a look here at the standings entering play in the AL Central. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The Got average for him entering catcher. play sits down in the Yasmani 250s. Grandal. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He's fortunate he just fouled it off. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Batting ninth. Second base. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. That was a first pitch fastball. He just blew it right by him. You talk about an overpowering fastball working today. He's got a good one going. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a swing and a fly ball. 
And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Naquin is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Jurickson Profar is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Here's the first pitch to him. Andrew Benintendi will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in... Here's Oswaldo Arcia comes into this at Leading bat 0 for right 1 side. in the ball game. Right fielder number and here's a fastball called for strike Oswaldo 1. Arcia. And this is fouled back and out of play. Pitch on the way. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in to try it again. Matt Dominguez. 0 for 1 baseman, for him here in this one. Matt Dominguez. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Schisenhall has it in his tracks. Two down. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Now batting. Kenny Vargas, Vargas is Kenny in with two away Vargas. here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, Matt, that's two quick outs, but if you look at the pitch count, it's way down low. He's being aggressive, and so are they. He's got a chance to get through this one. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. <laughs> Digging in for his second at-bat, Andrelton Simmons. For Boston. He's 0 for Short 1 stop. thus far. Andrelton Simmons. Oops. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Another 0-2 coming. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. There to take it is Myers and that's the first out. Stepping in and ready for another now shot, Yosmani Grandal. He'll Yosemite look to bounce back Grandal. after striking out his last time up. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing. They expect this guy out. Get him yourself. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably Go too good to take, 15. and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be... And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six... Ready for another shot now. Odubel Herrera. And guys, seventh inning shot. already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this Odubel one's been flying by. Herrera. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've Here done up. just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Odubel Herrera goes now down back. for the first out in the Designated seventh hitter. inning. Swing and a ball Jurickson hits softly on the ground. Profile. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. 
Riding in once again, Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Foul back. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete. Here's Oswaldo Arcia. He struck he out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Backhanded. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Matt Dominguez is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. I really like how he's been throwing a lot of first pitch strikes in this game. That first pitch strike, it just opens up the whole strike zone and what you can do as a pitcher. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. Here's the pitch. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That's a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Zapata is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Into the windup and the pitch. Kenny Vargas is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Zapata has it in his tracks, and that retires the side. Ready once again, Andrelton Simmons. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to 2. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0 and 2. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Zapata is there, and there are two men gone now. Now batting. Second to third. Throw in time. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.